Good morning, and welcome to Going to Work with Gina, which is the inspiration for STEM students. This morning, I would like to talk about multiple choices. Uh, this week, um, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to continue to talk about mechanical engineering, as well as talk about some things that may be happening in secondary education that students may need help with. And so, I wish to concentrate on on uh, multiple choice um, problems this morning. Multiple choices um, are said to be some of the simplest math problems there are, but I beg to differ. Um, when you're doing a multiple choice problem, you actually have to know your craft, you have to know your grind, you have to know the tricks and trades of what could actually be occurring um, and what's going on with you. So I tell students the first thing you need to do is make sure that you read the instructions. Read the instructions to make sure, are they asking you to solve the algebraic expression or are they asking you to simplify it or they're asking you for a particular variable in the, um, in the expression. So multiple choice can be very, very tough. So what you want to do, you want to first work the problem, then you want to actually look at your different choices that you've been given and if you actually find your answer there you want to make sure that you can go ahead and choose that particular answer but what I always tell people is if it's a multiple choice then that means that you also need to go back and look at the other um, options that were given as answers because sometimes you can make you can solve your problem incorrectly and so you want to go through your mind and you want to eliminate each one of those choices that you did not choose and um, and then you want to determine um, I didn't choose those choices because of this particular reason so then there's another issue excuse me there's another issue where you may have to um, you may not even see your answer there so that means that you need to go go back and rework the problem and actually think to yourself okay um, I didn't see my answer in the choices that was given so I'm gonna go back and rework this problem I'm gonna consider some of the things that the answer say and then this time you want to make sure you should get um, the answer you should see your answer in the problem this particular time but as you go through life um, there are gonna be a lot of choices that you have to make um, STEM students multiple choice like I said can be some of the toughest problems um, but the, you can think that they're easy, but I think they're just as, as bad as an open book test to me. That's in my, um, my opinion. So what I say is that whenever you're looking at these particular type of problems, make sure you can actually go back and eliminate um, the answers that you didn't choose so you'll know that you did choose the correct answer, okay? And in life, choices will be made. There are consequences for choices. So you want to make sure that you know what you're doing. You're in the right place at the right time, okay? I want to thank you for going to work this morning with Gina. Have a wonderful day.